Welcome to Parakeet AI in-depth tutorial, where we will show and explain how this app works. Here are the questions that we will answer in this video. Click on the timestamp to jump to the selected part of the tutorial. Before we begin, make sure that you're using the latest version of Google Chrome browser to ensure that Parakeet AI will work properly. You can go to chrome.com to download it. To start, open our website parakeet-ai.com and click on one of the dashboard buttons or type parakeet-ai.com slash dashboard into your URL bar. Now create your account using Google or type in your email. What you're seeing right now is the homepage of the Parakeet AI dashboard. The menu with all the pages is here on the left. You can see how many credits you have below and this is the first page. Let's go through this first couple of steps to see what Parakeet AI can do. The first step is to upload your resume. This is optional, but we encourage you to do so because this will allow Parakeet AI to provide responses based on your personal experiences. Click Upload Resume or CV's Resumes button in the left menu to see the list of your resumes. Then click the Upload Resume button on the top right to upload a new resume. Now you can select to upload the PDF version of your resume if you have one available or you can create one manually. I will select Upload Resume, click Upload again and then select the resume file on my computer. Now type in the name of this resume. This is the resume editing page. If you've uploaded your resume from a PDF file, then Parakeet AI has automatically recognized and filled out your resume based on your information. If you haven't uploaded your resume and instead decided to create one manually, these fields are therefore empty and you can fill them out by yourself. Now you can go through your CV and make sure that all the information has been entered correctly. If you wish to add a form of education or the job experience, just click on the button add education or add job and type in the information you'd like to add. If you'd like to remove an education or a job experience, click on the trash icon right next to the experience. You can also add other types of experience or information at the bottom. Just click add other, then type in the title and the description of the experience or the information you want to add to your resume. All the information you type is saved automatically, as you can see right here, and if you'd like to delete your entire resume, just click the red trash icon in the top right corner. Now let's return to the home page and continue with the next step. Now that we've added our resume, it's time to start a free trial session to see how Parakeet AI actually works. To do that, you can click the Create Session button here on the homepage or navigate to the Interview Sessions page in the left menu where you can see all your previous interview sessions and click on the Start Trial Session in the top right corner. This is where you provide the information about the company and the position you're applying for so Parakeet AI can provide custom answers based on that information. So type in the company and the job description you're applying to and click Next. Then select the language you'll be speaking at the interview, turn on this toggle if you want Parakeet AI to avoid using complex words and only provide responses in simple English. If you want, you can add extra context or instructions for Parakeet AI here, such as be more technical or answer in simple short sentences, and you can also select which AI model you would like Parakeet AI to use. Click next again and select the resume we've recently created, so Parakeet AI can also generate responses based on that. The last option is to save an interview transcript and Summary. This means that Parakeet AI will save a text-only transcription of your interview session on your profile, create a summary of the questions and the answers that you got in your interview, and then generate an AI analysis of your responses so you can do even better next time. I'll turn it on and click Next. This is just a warning that you're creating a free trial session that will end after 10 minutes. Make sure to start a full session with this black button for the real interview. Now the interview session has been created and it's time to select whether you want to use Parakeet AI inside the browser or by using the Parakeet AI desktop app. Click on this link to see and understand the difference between the two options. We will begin by demonstrating the browser version and then continue to the desktop version. Click on the browser button to enter the interview session through your browser. You can review your settings from earlier here and now it's time to connect Parakeet AI to the online meeting taking place inside the same Google Chrome browser window that you're already using. To test Parakeet AI, you can use the test interview that is on our YouTube channel. You can open it by clicking on this image right here. Let's put it on pause for now. In a real interview, you would have a Google Meet, Zoom or any video conferencing app open in a tab just like this. But for this demonstration, we will pretend that this YouTube tab is an online meeting tab. Click activate and connect and select the tab where the meeting is taking place. I'll select this YouTube tab with our test interview for this demonstration and make sure that this audio slider is turned on so the Parakeet AI can hear your conversation. If you're having troubles connecting Parakeet AI to your online meeting, we have a 
separate video tutorial showing how to connect to each conferencing platform on our YouTube channel. You can find it by visiting parakeet-ai.com slash connect. Let's start the mock interview video to mimic how the real interview session will look like. What you're seeing is the browser version of Parakeet AI. Your online meeting is shown here on the top left, below is the transcription of the meeting and all the answers from Parakeet AI will be shown here on the right half of the screen by simply clicking this AI answer button at the bottom or pressing the spacebar key on your keyboard. You can resize these windows by dragging on these sliders and you can enter the full screen mode by clicking on the full screen button here on the top left. Now Parakeet AI is overlaid on top of your online meeting and you can adjust the position of the windows to place the answers right in front of your interviewer to make it easier to read the responses without moving your eyes to the side of the screen. By default, Parakeet AI will only listen to your interviewer, but you can click this connect microphone button and give permissions, which will enable your microphone. And now Parakeet AI can use context from both your interviewer and yourself when generating responses. This clear button will clear the transcript, which is especially useful at the beginning of the interview when the interviewer is introducing themselves and you don't need any answers from AI. You can also turn off this auto scroll toggle which allows you to see the whole transcription. You can also manually type in the question you would like Parakeet AI to answer if the transcription was unclear. The last feature is this analyze screen button. If the interviewer is sharing a coding problem or any other question on their screen, you can use this button. Parakeet AI will analyze their screen and provide the solution to the problem right inside the app. The timer on the top right lets you know how much time you have left on your interview session. Once it reaches the zero, the timer will automatically reset to 30 minutes and use half of your Parakeet AI credit, so you can use our app continuously without interruptions. The exit button will exit this interview session, but it will not end your online meeting, which is still active inside the browser tab that you've previously connected to. Now let's take a look at the desktop version of the Parakeet AI app. I will create a new trial interview session just like before, but now instead of selecting the browser version on the last page of the setup, I will click the desktop app button on the right. You need to download our app when you start the desktop version for the first time. To do that, click the download desktop app button here, select the operating system you're using on your computer and then download and install the app. Open the downloads folder on your Mac computer and double click on the DMG file you downloaded, then drag the Parakeet AI icon to the applications folder. If you're using Windows, click on the e exe file you downloaded and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. Now that the Parakeet AI desktop app has been installed on your computer, return to this page and click the open in desktop app button here. This will open the Parakeet AI app on your computer and connect it to the interview session we've just created. Our desktop app has all the same functionalities as the browser app, but it works with any web browser or any application that you're using on your computer, and it is totally invisible to the interviewer, even when you're sharing your entire screen with them. Before we begin, you need to give Parakeet AI permission to your computer's audio, so it will be able to hear your interviewer by clicking this start button with the computer logo here. As you can see, Parakeet AI is now listening to the audio from the computer and you can also enable microphone transcription so Parakeet AI can hear you talking as well. The transcription of what the interviewer and you are saying will be shown here in the middle and you can hover your mouse over this button on the right to see the conversation more clearly. You can get the answer to any question by clicking the answer question button right here or manually typing a question and clicking the send button. If you're solving a coding problem or answering questions on your display, you can click the analyze screen button to get the solutions. Clear the answers by clicking this X button in the top right corner and clear the transcript by clicking this clear button above. You can also turn off the listening features of Parakeet AI in case you only want to analyze your screen with our app. To hide and show the Parakeet AI desktop app, click this hide and show buttons and to move or resize the app, hover your mouse over these three dots and use the dedicated controls below. Click the red exit button to exit the Parakeet AI app, but this will not end your online meeting, which is still active in the conferencing app. Now that we've tested both versions of Parakeet AI app, let's check the interview summary feature. You can find the interview summary by opening the interview sessions page in the left hand menu. Here is the list of all the interview sessions you've started and to open a summary, you simply need to click on this interview transcript button. This will open a window with three tabs. 
The transcript tab allows you to see the entire conversation you had with the interviewer. Transcript will show both sides of the conversation if you connect it and enable the microphone feature we mentioned before. If you haven't enabled the microphone, then this tab will only show what the interviewer said on your interview. The Ask AI tab allows you to ask questions about your interview. You can, for example, ask what was the first question that the interviewer asked, which can help you analyze your online interview. The last tab called Summary allows you to generate a short summary of your interview along with suggestions from Parakeet. AI on how you could improve your answers. The last thing we can do is take a look at your profile page. You can do that by clicking on your email address in the bottom left corner. Here you can see your email and the amount of credits you have available and you can also get credits by clicking the buy interview credits button here or by clicking the get credits button in the left hand menu. This will take you to the Stripe checkout page where you can fill out the information and pay for the credits. You can sign out of your account by clicking this button on the top right corner of this page and if for some reason you need to delete your account, you can do that by clicking the delete account button which will also delete all your credits. And this is it. Now go and create your free trial session to test out Parakeet AI and see how it can help you land your dream job. We hope this video was helpful and if you still have any questions, message us by clicking this email support button in the left hand menu of our dashboard or sending an email to the address support at parakeet-ai.com. Try Parakeet AI for free today.